Thank you for taking the time to watch a demo of uh, Horse Races Now. I uh, wanted to take a few minutes to give you an opportunity to learn the bells and whistles of the phone application. It's real important. There are some details that if you don't understand how to use the app, then especially the notifications and the sounds and the ability to change favorites, then you, you, don't, you lose the experience. So I'm going to take a minute to run through, give you some of the details of how Horse Races Now, the phone application works. As you know, you can click onto the app. Now I'm using an iPad today, and we have, this is in a smaller version. All you have to do is click the lower right hand corner 2X button, and it doubles the viewpoint. So those that hadn't figured that out, that's an easy one. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, we have a more button where you can open and it gives you different se sections to head to. This account button is a very important button. Inside that, you can change your notifications where you can turn your entry notification on. See there where you get the sounds? Your call to post notification, on, off. All these are adjustable, very easy. At the gate, result, replay in the chart notification. So we have different notifications for different portions of the race as they're coming and going. And it's very important that you can change these very simple, very easily. Once you've made the changes, you simply hit update and your personal uh, notifications are, are updated. So as you go back through the app, you can also back out of here. Now there's also a second way to change the sounds. You can leave the notifications on, go into your notification center, Go down to the Horse Races Now app and you can adjust what type of notification. You can turn the sounds off. You can turn the badge app icon on or off. You can change how they're viewed on your, on your iPad or your iPhone. And then obviously you can adjust it for your own personal settings. So as you go back into the app, as, you, as some of you may have already figured out, and this is a newer version, and if you haven't updated the new version, it's a good idea to take the time to get an update out of the iTunes store because every week or few weeks we're updating and we're trying to make things better and better. So as you know, there are the favorites. Now we, we put a default favorite of Keeneland. We also put a default favorite of Graham Motion. Uh, Animal Kingdom because he won the Derby and obviously Graham was a trainer and Johnny Velasquez. You can easily change these. Simply touch your button, type in the horse's name, click out. If you want to eliminate a horse, you can delete that horse, leave the other horse in, no problem. And of course you have favorite trainers, favorite jockeys. If you go into favorite trainers, then you can look at their activity, check all their you know, what races they have going today. Of course, we have the Arkansas Derby today, which we're participating. And then we also have races that we ran in earlier in the week. If I want to click on an old race or a result for a horse I ran, I can easily check the chart. I can also watch the video. Very quick, very easy, very simple. They're at the post. So we back out of that section. Once again, you've got, we're going to go back to the home page. This is a page we're, we're getting ready to work on. The live video page, these are racetracks that are, if they are running, we have the live video. We're going to work on changing this page up so only when they're running you'll receive this page. We also have some, on the race replays, if you go into the track choices, all these tracks, we have videos going back at least two years. So we've got, we're gaining a lot of content, but we're not all, all the way there yet, but we're coming. Um, when we back out of that, you can also search by horse. Once again, if you just simply type in the no horse's name, I'm going to give you a horse's name that, that I'm familiar with. Hit a search, check his races. There you go. You want to watch his race at Saratoga. In this case, video not available because we haven't gotten the coding yet, but we know we have Keeneland. And there's going to be races where we don't have the video yet, 
but we're working on it. We feel like racetracks will at, at some point embrace this. And it, if you feel like there's a local racetrack that you want to watch, feel free to tell them that uh, you, you would like for them to participate in horse races now. And then one other small item I'll show you is on the more button. We're, we're eventually going to put a wagering button in this section. And we're also going to put a notification button in this section in the long run. We need a little bit of time for some coding, but that is going to happen. And then um, on the wagering button, when you go into, well, if you go into the entries, and let's just use Aqueduct as an example, clicking into, I'm just going to go into a race card that's this week. The wagering button is here where you can choose a list of ADWs that, that we have relationships with and you could quickly and easily head right into, in this case, Aqueduct. We'd encourage you to bet through Naira Rewards because they do an excellent job and it takes you right into Login Site. So for those that haven't learned yet, it's simple, it's easy, don't be intimidated. Take some time to learn how the product works and enjoy horse races now. Thanks for taking the time.